All right, folks, well, Prime Day on Amazon is fast approaching. And in today's video, we're gonna run through a bunch of things that you can do to get your listings on Amazon ready for a bumper season of sales. Welcome back to the channel if you've been here before. Welcome to the channel if it's here your first time. My name is Ben, I'm a full-time brand builder and founder of brandbuilderuni.com where we teach people how to sell on Amazon so that you can build a brand that you own and a life that you love. And uh, my hope is that today's video helps you take one step closer to that and particularly around the area of Prime Day. Now, this is gonna really apply to one of two types of Amazon seller. Number one, you're in the game, uh, you wanna prepare for a great Prime Day, you got some stock in, and and uh, you're in prime position huh? to really take advantage of this prime day period. Uh, I want to apologize for that pun, but no, I'm just not going to. Uh, or number two, you're not quite in the game yet, or maybe you're not going to have enough stock to be able to really maximize the prime day opportunity. And I'm going to give you real FOMO with this video. But the good thing about that is uh, these tips and tricks I'm going to talk to you about in this video today still apply to future promotional periods. I'm in the toys industry. And so, you know, for us, eight, nine months of the year, we're really preparing for Q4. And so whether it's Prime Day or Black Friday, Cyber Monday, whatever, sort of bumper sales period it is, the things I'm gonna talk you through today are things that you should always be considering in the run up to these uh, bumper sales periods, uh, periods where there's increased traffic on Amazon. Now we understand that this is gonna take place prime day this year around the end of June. Amazon haven't actually confirmed that. Traditionally, they only confirm it uh, a couple of weeks, uh, a short period of time before the actual prime day date. Uh, I'm not sure why, but that's the pattern they've got into. In previous years, prime day has often been in July. Amazon actually invented this sales uh, promotional period in order to pick up a bit of a slump of the year. July was the quietest month of the year. And there was, of course, things at the start of the year, things in Q4. And they really wanted to have this bumper sales period in the middle of the year. However, in uh, post-pandemic last year, it was put back to October. This year, for whatever reason, it sounds like rumors are going around that it's going to be around the end of June. Uh, but just keep your eyes peeled on your contacts from Amazon emails and everything that will confirm all of this. And I'm sure there will be the usual global TV campaigns advertising it coming up very soon. The other thing to be aware of is, again, rumors, uh, you know, best predictions. A lot of people in the industry are saying this is likely not just to be a uh, one day period or even 36 or 48 hour period like we've seen in the past, but more likely to be a 72 hour, three day prime event. Amazon is still calling it prime day in their pre prime day uh, setup communications. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's funny that they call it Prime Day, yet it's not really a day. It's more turning into a week, but whatever. Uh, prime event, it's going to be around three days. So I'm interested to see what kind of effect that is going to have on, on sales. Again, historically, you might see anywhere from sort of two to five X on your sales over the Prime Day period. However, with it stretched out over three days, will the traffic surge be as high? Therefore, will the sales impact be the same? I don't know. My personal prediction is maybe to plan for around 1.5 to 2x sales uh, on those days, those three days in comparison to your normal days. Uh, but you know, my guess is as good as anybody else's and I'm interested to see how it goes. So definitely do let me know how your prime day goes after the event does take place. Another uh, thing before we get into the tips and tricks, just to be aware of is obviously Amazon recently have made some significant changes to the way inventory stocking is done. If you're a new seller, generally this has probably been good news for you. But if you're uh, an existing seller that have been selling on Amazon for a while, pretty much right across the board, it's bad news. Uh, we are like thousands of units over in most marketplaces of what Amazon is telling us we can actually stock. And so, uh, but yet they're sending us emails saying we haven't got enough stock to fulfill our Prime Day deals, which is like uh, classic Amazon and frustrating as heck. But that's probably another video for another day about how to manage these stock issues. If you have any questions, of course, on how we're managing that or, or challenges you're facing, definitely do let me know down below. And, uh, and we can see what we can do in terms of answering any questions you have on that. Okay, so in terms of tips and tricks, how you can really make the most of Prime Day, I wanted to run through a few things with you. For some of you, these may be the basics, but sometimes it's good to be refreshed on the basics. And for some people, it's your first Prime Day, so you're not really knowing what to expect. Well, the, the bulk of what we're going to talk about really is preparing yourself for increased traffic. Any promotional period, time of the year, Q4, Black Friday weekend, 
Prime Day or whenever it is, you really want to make the most of the extra traffic. There are some things that you can do to really tag on to Prime Day. I'm not going to talk too much about them, like Prime Deals, Lightning Deals on Prime Day. Uh, I don't run loads of those. We run a few of them, but they can get expensive. Uh, Amazon really do require a big discount from you, so you really have to just do it on products where you've got the margins to be able to run those steep discounts. Uh, you know, and so there there are lots of things to consider there. However, even if you don't do those, there are there is going to be an increased amount of traffic because people are coming hungry to buy onto Amazon, and you know what it's like. You're on Amazon to buy that promotional like robot Hoover, and then you know you remember, oh, I also need some more protein powder, or I also need uh, a charger for my phone, whatever. You know, I'm going to add that to cart as well. That's kind of how it works. That's why pretty much across the board you will see increase in sales on every single category on Amazon, whether you're running Prime Day deals or not because of that extra traffic. But there are some things that you can do in order to really maximize the opportunity. And there are three key areas I really just want to run you through really quickly you should be paying attention to. And the first one, of course, is your listing, your home base on Amazon where all of the action goes down. Really what you want to be doing right now at a time of recording, at a time of releasing this video, it's going to be a few weeks at least until until Prime Day. So uh, really now is the time to take things up a notch in terms of your listing testing, optimizing your listing for the right keywords to make sure your copy reads as well as it possibly can. Make sure you've got A plus content on your listing. Make sure you've got a video on your listing. Make sure that your images are optimized. You've split tested your main image to check which one is going to convert the best and you've got the one that converts the best loaded up and ready to go. All of this stuff on your listing, make sure it's as optimized as possible. Uh, I would also suggest testing whether you can use vouchers uh, as they're called in the UK or coupons in the US. These are still unbelievably still a little used tactic by Amazon sellers. It shows up as a little badge on your listing, uh, either green or orange. Amazon are always changing it, but it shows up and it says, you know, 10% off, £5 off. $10 off, whatever discount you give, and it, uh, it really makes your listing stand out on the search results, which then leads to a higher click-through rate, more people on your listing, and it also, of course, is going to lead to more conversions, because especially on Prime Day, everybody loves a discount. So really, I would encourage you to look at your numbers and see if you can factor that in. Don't forget that with those vouchers, with those coupons, only around 50%, for us at least, that's what has been shown historically, only around 50% of people actually claim that coupon that buy randomly enough some people just want to pay full price I suppose you know our products are that good I, I don't know but only around 50% of people claim that and so when you do factor your budgeting in uh, don't put it at 100% of people going to be discounted and you're not going to have to pay the voucher or coupon clipping fee to Amazon it's around uh, 30p 45p one of those two I can't remember but it's a little bit of a fee but only around 50% are going to do it so just factor that in to your budgeting Second thing uh, beyond your listing is your marketing. Consider your marketing. There's two aspects to consider here. You're on Amazon marketing and you're off Amazon marketing. For most of us, the bread and butter, butter, bread and butter, bread. <laughs> For most of us selling on Amazon, our bread and butter is going to be the on Amazon marketing, our PPC, pay-per-click advertising, and really maximizing that again because there's loads more traffic. Invariably, Amazon will send out loads of promo before the event to uh, increase your bids, increase your budget, spend more on Prime Day because there's more people shopping. And uh, let me just address that for a moment and remind you that your business goals and Amazon's business goals are not always aligned. This is a conversation we're having a lot inside our BBU community at the moment. People are getting communications from Amazon. Hey, you should do this. You should do that. Some of it's good. Some of it not so good because Amazon don't have the context and their business goals are not the same as yours. People working in the advertising department on Amazon are targeted on how much new advertising spend that they can generate. And so they're not necessarily worried about your margins, about what you take home, about uh, you know your business growing over the long term. They just want to see their department grow and Whilst those things can co-align at times, they don't always completely co-align. So just be aware of that and remember, not everything Amazon suggests should be implemented. Now, my recommendation and what I generally will do on Prime Day and will be doing this year is increasing my budgets more than I do my bids. If you increase your bids, you're going to be paying way more per click on PPC and all of that time you spent optimizing your PPC campaigns for the right metrics is just going to go out of the window. Sure, there's something to be said that people will be more ready to buy. So your conversion rate should be higher, which might offset that. So you can play around with those bids a little bit if you 
want, but just do be careful that may end up costing you a lot more and basically wipe out any profit that you get on Prime Day. So my strategy generally is to increase my budgets more than I do my bids because a lot of people will take the advice of Amazon and they will increase their bids to try and get more exposure on Prime Day and ultimately blow through their budgets a lot quicker, maybe run out of stock on Prime Day, and it's gonna then leave us opportunities towards the end of the day once other sellers' budgets have run out to come in and scoop up that extra traffic, so increase your budgets so you get extra traffic, but at a similar kind of low cost that you've already optimized, which then should help you be highly profitable on Prime Day. The second thing, of course, is off Amazon marketing. Uh, the on Amazon PPC, but the, also the off Amazon. Make sure you do really leverage your efforts. If you have been building a list, if you have been building an audience, make sure you get in front of people's faces and remind them that, hey, Prime Day is on. Uh, we're a small business, but we sell on Amazon. A lot of people still don't realize that small businesses sell on Amazon. They think it's just Amazon selling Amazon stuff. Remind them, hey, we're a small business. Uh, you know, the, the lifeblood of our business is on Amazon, we've got this exciting Prime Day deal, whether it's the vouchers that we talked about or a Prime Day exclusive or whatever you wanna run on Amazon, get an email out, get social media going and remind people Prime Day is here because they will be primed to buy. I'm sorry, I did it again. They will be ready to buy products from you uh, if you only just get in front of their faces. So your listing, your marketing, and finally your pricing. Pricing is obviously going to be key on Prime Day because everybody's looking for a discount, everybody's looking for a bargain. But I just wanna remind you that Prime Day is coming again next year. Q4 is coming around soon. This isn't the only opportunity to have an exciting sales day. And don't fall into the trap of pricing yourself so low, spending so much on your marketing that you get that rush when you uh, update your seller app on Amazon, every time you swipe it, the number increases and it gives you that dopamine hit. Don't forget we're in this for the long haul. It's about being profitable. So don't fall into the trap of pricing yourself so low. However, do what you can to be sharp on your pricing. Spend time analyzing your margins. Shipping prices, of course, are increased right now. So just make sure all of your cogs, your cost of goods sold calculations are up to date so you know what your margins are, what you can afford to discount on, what you can afford to spend on on marketing and still come out with some profit. There's great opportunities on Prime Day, but it's important that you do go in with your head screwed on with a calm mindset, ready to make the most of it and impact your business for the good over the long haul. Uh, I would say put it in your diary, Prime Day event, when it does get confirmed, make sure you're at least near a computer. You don't have to be chained to your desk the whole time. Make sure you're around just to respond to anything that does come up, any PPC situations, anything like that. Uh, and let's get ready for a great sales period. I'll be sharing up dates of how we do on Prime Day and I'd love to hear from you when that does come around and of course when you do get the confirmation of dates I'll be putting that out on my social media too and our brand builder uni socials which you can follow down below. If you found this video helpful I would love for you to give it a thumbs up just to help other people get prepared for Prime Day and if you do have any questions about Prime Day please do leave them below. If you need anything else get in contact otherwise I'll see you real soon.